Hi, this little short video is going to be about Snap2. Earlier today, I turned my Snap2 off and somebody, I confused somebody why I would. If you're drawing in hairline, which I do, and you want to join these two boxes, you could have it snap to it. But if you draw these two lines that are thicker and you want to snap to them on basically the outside, you take the four point cross and you go there, it's not going to snap to it. It's going to snap to the center line. Because we have to remember that when we go to view and wireframe that those are lines and the outline is a thicker line, but it's still a line, so it won't snap to it. So if you ever have to join two objects like this and want them to snap to it, well, one you can do, you can go to snap to and turn snap to off, and then you can just place it on that edge, but it won't. It won't really snap to it, which is really irritating when you want to uh, do something like that. But if we put snap to back, well, I didn't turn it off. And so if you can see now, I can place it without it snapping to that center. I'm still over the edge a little bit, and that's why snap to is so important. So let's turn snap to back on, but let's take these two outlines and convert them to an object. And then when it does that, the outside line is our snap two point. And we can go right here and snap right to it. And we got those two colors separation. You know, you can just keep going. Uh, I hit the plus key on the keyboard. I can go right there. It's going to snap right to it. Anyway, I hope that made him help understand a little bit. Thank you for watching.